Despite the government's denial of the Dumso crisis, its profound impact on the nation has spared no one, not even the deceased. While the living can voice their grievances, the departed, facing power cuts as well, are unable to do so. City News sheds light on the funeral home industry to explore how it copes with these challenges. President Okufado and the Minister of Energy, Dr. Matthew Pokupwempe, have both refuted claims that the current energy crisis is Jumso. The government has attributed the situation to effort to rectify the energy challenges. We are in the era of Dumsiese, which is, which is profoundly different from Dumso. Dumso has inflicted on Ghanaians, has only happened as characterized His Excellency John Dramani Mohammed's governance. He is the only president on record that for four years that he reigned, for four years that he ruled, for four years that he governed, there was doom, 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 doom. However, it is undeniable that the sporadic power outages is making life unbearable for Ghanaians and also unduly burdensome on the business community, even the business of the dead. City News visited a number of funeral homes in Accra, and although most of them declined to speak to our team, our checks show that a power cut is having dire financial and operational constraints on them. John Kofi is a managing director of Gilman and Abbey Funeral Services, one of Ghana's leading funeral homes, and he says the intermittent power cuts have left them with no other option than to cough off more money in order to ensure that the dignity of the deceased in their care is preserved. Our aim is to ensure that each and every disease that is brought in our care is taken care of very, very well. So that at the end of the day, the family will be happy that their loved one didn't change, this didn't happen and all of that. So as a result of that, one of the, the importance of energy, electricity for us is to make sure that our systems are always up and running. You know, and yes, we need electricity to do almost everything, practically everything. Without it, we can't do anything. So it's, it's a very big problem for us and it has added so much cost to our operational expenses. Our administrative cost has become huge because you have to make sure the, the, the facility, like I said earlier on, has electricity 24-7. So how do you do that when the, the, the electricity is not on? Then you have to resort to the generator. You know, we have a very big genset over there. That's the, the power station down there. It's very big. And it can supply about one and a half of this facility. So the cost of getting the fuel to also turn it on for operations is another thing. John Kofi further stated that his colleagues in the funeral industry share in his sentiment and are frustrated by the ongoing doom so. Mr. Kofi also said it was imperative for the government to address the present concern in order not to further compound the plight of businesses. I mean, we cannot achieve our aim because, like I said earlier, our aim is to ensure that each and every disease that is brought in our care is taken care of very, very well so that at the end of the day, the family will be happy that their loved one didn't change, this didn't happen and all of that. So as a result of that, one of the, the importance of energy, electricity for us is to make sure that our systems are always up and running. You know, and yes, we need electricity to do almost everything, practically everything. Without it, we can't do anything. These funeral home operators are calling on the government to, as a matter of urgency, fix the issues with the power outages. Reporting for City News, my name is Nashika Caesar.